Rams. The Cowboys, they're underway. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by a third-year pro and third overall pick from North Dakota State. He's battled injuries early in his career. Try to stay healthy now, and that's Trey Lance. And his stat line ready, last week, ready. that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led him to victory. He's doing all the right things. The numbers on the ground for Pierce last week. 15 carries, 134 yards. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget the his offensive line. They've really asserted their role out there, and we're confident they can repeat it again this week. Throwing his lance on third down. And the Niners get there and bring him down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Able to slither by. 46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. And the Niners offense set to go to work. And it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy, who leads him out in season number two from Iowa State. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Brings up third and seven. Back to throw, Purdy. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 23. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give him five on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. They run with a rookie from K-State, Deuce Vaughn. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and five. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. You look at this Niner defense, and they've been excellent against the pass, the number six unit in the NFL. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. Just to pick up a three, but that is indeed enough. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. First and 10, it's Pierce. And a solid run down inside the 30. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. A six yard pickup. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 
21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, Cowboys. Lance looking to throw it. Well, that's going to be incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. And Lance will try again on second down. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Lance. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play. Yeah. That too. <laughs> what a pickup this man was last year. It's Christian McCaffrey. A little jerk. He's still on his feet. And all the way down to the one yard line. That one good for 37 yards. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000 yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game. But it's a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Samuel with a catch, and he's still the gold standard for receivers getting work out of the backfield, even if his numbers fell in 2022. Most yards, carries him. Touchdown, 49ers! Brandon Ayuk, 30 yards! And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run here with Rico Dowdle. And he'll be stopped. 
stopped right at midfield. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Hand off left side, Pierce. And he is going to lose yardage here. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Seven, seven, our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Second and 11 now, as they've got it as we resume action. Now Lance. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he made. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. the punter Brian Anger to kick this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And they will take over first and 10. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job. And Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie. Defense does its job, gets the ball right back. And their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. A second down throw for Purdy. A quick throw there he is incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Kittle's got his first catch, and it's also a first down. The Niners at one and three here in the early part of the year. The Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, capitalize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. On the counter, Mitchell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Right back to Mitchell on second down. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Purdy from the gun. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Micah Parsons in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. 
Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They work now on second and nine. Here's Lance to throw it. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. Lance now to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit into football. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Nifty move. He gets away from one. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Purdy to throw again on second and 10. Pressure comes and down he goes. They open time of the safety blitz and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven well there was second long now it's third and even longer they're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to but you're exactly right definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys now on third and long they'll look to throw under pressure they got him again Micah Parsons. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He's the NFL sack leader coming into the game, and now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Dallas offense set for this next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now Lance going to throw. Flush to his right, and he'll hit the deck, but he did not get there. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. This is brought in at the 21. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return, and San Francisco gets set to go here. 
Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. And Debo going to have a Niners first down as he'll get this up to the 39. Purdy looking to throw. That to the sideline and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 33. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Shotgun now for Lance. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Play action, now it's Lance. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. On first down, Lance, as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Ran a perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And his kick is indeed good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've hit halftime. Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. On play action, Lance being chased out left. He'll get just a yard on the scramble in second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And Lance's throw taken in there by Cooks. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And they need two. Here's third down. the run it's down and he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. 
So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Pierce will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Pierce. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Damian Pierce, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. And this is where you can't help but think about our friend, the coach, the late John Madden, because this was his kind of football right here. Line them up and let them get after it down in the trenches. And as a running back, you just need that one crease, one sign of daylight. He finds it, and he barrels into the end zone. Touchdown, coach, just like you would draw it up. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. The throw over the middle, taken in. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Purdy now to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. It feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now... His head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the option, here's Vaughn. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. On second down, here's Pierce. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And he will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Dre Greenlaw in there on the tackle. From the 21, here's second down and five. Throwing now is Lance. Fires a slant complete to Tolbert. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Here now, third and a yard. Going for it with Pierce. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. 
Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Lance looking to throw it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull yeah, away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Taken at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. That good for 22 and a first down. Mitchell impressing with that carry, and it speaks to the kind of player he is. The San Francisco still made room for him in their offense after acquiring Christian McCaffrey. The only thing that slowed him down so far Injuries. Defenses, they haven't had much effect on him. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team Defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. And the tackle for loss goes to Eric Kendricks. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. The throwing here, Purdy. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Demarcus Lawrence. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. The offense on third down tonight. Two for five to this point. This will be third and a mile. Back to throw, Purdy. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And this one is right down Broadway, and that will close the gap down to 14. two scores and they did indeed do that but still a pretty uphill battle still gonna take two fourth quarter touchdowns to get back into it 
And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Well, there are two okay, scores on the right? plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Second and six at the 24 yard line. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 55 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. And the Cowboy first down. A run for Pierce out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Pierce now up the middle. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They run here with Dowdle. Fights through him. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. To throw, it's Lance. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Oh, he stays up. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They'll turn things over to Brandon Aubrey now for the field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line. First and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Purdy. 
Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And on first down, it's Purdy. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Purdy sets up to throw again. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And that will be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Purdy, big fourth down play. Touchdown! Oh, great effort there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Niners have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, Parker. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. The extra point try now for Moody. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. That time, a nine-play drive. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cowboys are able to recover. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It'll be a gain of two. And speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. They'll try and run for it with Vaughn. And yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. That is caught. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Pierce on the counter. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. First down, Dallas. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. Down to a knee goes Lance, and that should just about do it. 
Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. Oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for Dallas, they move back over 500 at 3-2 and two now on the year. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they'll fall to one and four with a loss. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns.